Carly Stoughton with Appstra here. We are live at the Cisco Live Orlando 2018 show floor where Appstra has a booth. I've been showing a few folks some whiteboards this week. One of the things I'm talking about is how we do the initial automation. And I should note, it's not just automation that Appster focuses on, we also have a really powerful operations and analytics story. But here I'm going to walk you through how we do the basic automation. So our product is AOS, Appster Operating System, and this is deployed simply as a virtual machine. So it's not a controller, it's not in the control plane, it simply sits in the management plane. And what we're doing is automating the configuration and the bring up of a best practices leaf spine fabric in the data center. So once we deploy AOS, we actually deploy agents uh, to the switches in the leaf spine topology. And these can be uh, any vendors, right? We allow our customers to pick their hardware, pick the network operating system, you know, be that an established vendor or some of the open alternatives out there. So what we do once we've deployed that agent and once you've designed the fabric in the AOS server is we'll actually push out that configuration of the uh, eBGP, the VXLAN, the VLAN segments, uh, and now the eVPN configuration as well. So this is stuff that would be hundreds of lines of configuration on oh, who knows how many devices. Most data centers are a lot larger than this. So the automation is key, right? This is stuff that we were doing on a box-by-box -box basis, right? It's time to start treating the network like a system, and the way that we manage that system is automation with AOS. Thank you.